Ronald Reagan said, Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. One Christians have extrapolated that truth to say, the church is never more than one generation away from extinction. Whether we are parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, school teachers, or ministry volunteers, we have a common question burning in our hearts, how does our faith transfer from generation to generation, from godly adults to godly children? For our faith to live on after we die, it must exhibit certain qualities. Through Timothy, the Apostle Paul's protege, we discover at least four characteristics to emulate. Model a convincing faith. I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you also. 2 Timothy 1 5. Paul said Timothy's genuine faith came from his mother and grandmother. The Greek word for genuine is found six times in the New Testament. James 3.17 renders the word without hypocrisy. Such a faith is real, convincing, and deep. If our faith is to blossom into the hearts of others, the next generation, it needs to be genuine. We must prove our beliefs through our actions and sincerity. We cannot impart a faith that we ourselves do not possess, and ultimately do not reflect. Model a consistent faith. People learn about our faith by observing how we handle difficult situations. As they watch us navigate trials, they figure out whether or not we have a consistent faith. If we're not careful, we can allow our faith to be fleeting rather than indwelling. Paul said that Timothy's genuine faith first dwelt in his grandmother Lois and in his mother Eunice, 2 Timothy 1 5. Regardless of their circumstances, it inhabited their lives. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, we, too, can demonstrate His indwelling presence amid life's challenges. Model a Contagious Faith William Barclay once wrote, A Christian is a man lost in wonder, love, and praise, at what God has done for him, and aflame with passion to tell others what God can do for them. Certainly, Lois and Eunice had such a passion. They couldn't keep quiet about the Lord Jesus. As soon as Timothy was old enough, they started teaching him about faith. By living a contagious faith, these women reared a godly young man who was well spoken of by the brethren who were at Lystra and Iconium, Acts 16:2. Their faith trained him up from childhood and molded his character. Oh, to have such mentors! From the moment they come into our lives, we must make sure that we model a contagious faith for our young people. Model a confident faith. Faith was Paul's ancient watchword, used incessantly in his writings. In his mind, faith meant to embrace Jesus Christ in all of his fullness. It was much more than a belief or a mental acceptance of the gospel. In the words of Samuel Taylor Coleridge, faith is an affirmation, and an act, that bids eternal truth be present fact. 2. Such a confident faith is necessary in spread the good news. If we're not sure of what we believe ourselves, how are we to make others certain of the love of Christ?